In an emergency, every second counts, and the fire department is going to do its best to get there as quickly as possible. The speed of Rochester's expansion is making that difficult. Our Olivia Prinsinski looked into what the solution is and what this means for people who own homes, and she is in our studio tonight. So, Olivia, how will this impact homeowners? Well, Tom and Caitlin, for areas that are further away from fire stations, insurance companies could charge up to 30 or 40 percent more for coverage. Rochester is expanding rapidly. But the fire department is having trouble keeping up. What we see with our calls or our call volume is we, we experience a tension, right, between how we're able to geographically cover the city as it grows and expands. The trouble areas include parts of southeast and northwest Rochester. But what we know about the northwest is we have some long response times up in that area. It's been growing quite a bit. It's also on the near-term growth pr plan for, for projections. So it is an area that we're watching. And a possible solution to this? An emergency services division. If the EMS division gets up and running um, and is successful and is able to take a, a call load off of station one, we actually would be able to move one of those engines to an area that might also help us serve that geographic coverage. Currently, response times in Northwest Rochester are reaching seven minutes or longer, and this could pose issues for homeowners. Once you start getting further away from town, further away from the fire department, um, that's when the insurance companies start having different requirements. That's when you have to maybe find a different company. Insurance companies use a property class system and are concerned that if an engine can't make it to your home in time, it will lose money. If there's pockets or areas that are growing more like more houses growing uh, suburban wise, but the fire station is a little bit further away, that's just, you know, kind of the nature of what happens with it. Well, this is on RFD's radar. It could be a couple of years before ground is broken on a new station. Minutes matter in fires. And so for us, that's why that geographic coverage is so important. Another possibility is an insurance company could refuse coverage in an area altogether. And improving services to those areas is one of RFD's top priorities in its strategic plan. Live in the studio, Olivia Pranzinski, KTDC News. All right.